Crypto in black and white. How do cryptocurrencies get their value? Since 2008, over 5,000 new cryptocurrencies have been created, giving us a digital token market in late 2020 worth around $500 billion. That may sound like a lot, but it is actually quite small when compared with something like the S&P 500, which is around $30 trillion. The S&P 500 is 600 times bigger and only accounts for the 500 largest publicly listed companies in the USA. But where does this $500 billion come from? How does a cryptocurrency get its value? To answer that, I'm going to use Jenny. Jenny has just created a cryptocurrency called New Crypto Coin. There are a maximum of 1,000 coins and every coin is pre-mined and immediately tradable. When it is first created, Jenny's cryptocurrency has a value of zero because no one has bought any of it. John hears about Jenny's cryptocurrency project and likes the sound of it. He agrees to buy $10,000 worth of Jenny's coins for $20 each. Jenny agrees to sell 500 coins to John through an exchange. By buying 500 coins, John has increased the overall value of Jenny's crypto project called the market capitalization to $20,000 with each token being worth $20 after the sale. Jenny is incredibly happy because she holds the other 500 coins and is now $10,000 wealthier. If she wanted to, she could sell her coins now for a quick profit and crash the price or wait to see if the price increases over the long term. Jenny is introduced to James who wants to buy 600 coins and he is happy to pay up to $30 a coin for a total of $18,000. James privately believes the true intrinsic value of the coin is around $100 each. John and Jenny agree to sell 300 coins each for a profit to James. Jenny and John now both have 200 coins with a value of $6,000 and $9,000 of profit each. James has his 600 coins with a value of $18,000. Both John and James help to give the project value in exchange for dollars by believing that they can create more value for themselves by exchanging the coin for more in the future. Because the total number of coins is capped at 1,000, the value of the cryptocurrency behaves like a bucket that is being filled with water. The water represents money or capital coming in and out of the cryptocurrency. Yes, some people sell and exit, but over time, provided the cryptocurrency has a good reason to exist, the number of people contributing new capital will increase and the price of the asset, the water and bucket, will rise. At a certain point, the amount of people entering and exiting will be equal, more or less, and the bucket will be full. This is when a cryptocurrency reaches its full intrinsic value. Any new capital contributed merely sloshes out of the side of the bucket as people enter and exit accordingly. This idea is not just limited to cryptocurrencies, but it also works for fiat currencies, stocks, shares, property, gold, or anything else that could be bought or sold. The difference with these assets is that they are not capped by cryptographically secured code. There is always new gold being mined, fiat currency being printed, or the possibility for a company to create more shares. Think of these assets like an infinitely inflatable balloon. Money, in our metaphor, air, is pouring in all the time. But because the number of units is not fixed, the balloon just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Until the balloon bursts because people realise that their investment has been diluted to such an extent that the asset is effectively worthless. This has happened multiple times throughout history, with the most popular example being Germany in the early 1920s, where the population started to use banknotes, such as this 10 billion marks note, as wallpaper. This phenomenon will never happen to a cryptocurrency that has a fixed, predetermined number of units. The value of the cryptocurrency continues as a negotiation between multiple buyers and sellers for the useful life of the cryptocurrency. How do you define the usefulness of a cryptocurrency? Well, that is a question for another crypto black and white.